friends, welcome to Dining with Diamonds and welcome back to another post review, yay, here on the channel. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Emily, um, my friends call me Em and I consider you all friends, so there you go. So I finally have another completed diamond painting. Yay, I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, so a few little things. Uh, before we get into this, it is um, almost one o'clock in the morning <laughs> at the time of recording this. Um, I hope my voice is being picked up on the microphone <laughs> because it is late, very late. Um, I stayed up to finish this canvas because I am in desperate need to kit up something new. Um, and we'll get into that at the end of the video. Um, but another thing real quick, um, in these post reviews, I tend to go really in depth and some people might say I'm a little nitpicky or a little like, I don't know, too hard on a canvas. Um, the reason for that is just cause I want to give as much of my thoughts and as much information about, um, my experience with a kit as possible. So you can make the best educated decision. Um, on whether or not you want to purchase this specific canvas. Another thing, my air conditioner is on <laughs> and the rattling is the fan in there. So I apologize for that. Um, there's nothing I can do about it, <laughs> unfortunately. So we're going to have to endure it. So thank you for being here. I'm very excited to have you here. Now let's get into this canvas. Yay! Let's reveal it. <gasps> Yay! So. This is Red Riding by Curtis Reykjavik and Dreamer Designs. It is a 40 by 50 in square drills and has 47 colors with one AB. Now, I feel a little like they skimped on the ABs and there's not a lot throughout her whole, um, throughout the whole canvas. There's some in her forehead, there's some in the wolf and very, very little in the background. But other than that, there is a no ABs in this kit, which is fine. Some kits don't need it. Um, I would have liked if she was a little more blingy, but I I love this kit so much. It was so much fun to do. Um, I actually, when I first started this kit, I was not feeling it. And not because I didn't like the image. I had just finished Valentine Masquerade um, and the color scheme was so similar and <laughs> I'll get into more about the actual canvas in a second, but I was just like, oh, you know, <laughs> and I didn't realize, you know, at the time how similar the color scheme was when I decided to kit it up. I just wanted to kit up a smaller canvas while I was working on Spirit of Flight, and we'll talk about that canvas at the end of the video. Um, real quick as well, uh, down in the description, I have linked my Instagram where you can follow along with my progress on these paintings that you see here in these post reviews, um, I'm a little more active over there as well. Uh, and yeah, so you'll probably have a better idea what I'm talking about too if you follow me over there. So I highly suggest you do that. Um, anyway, okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty of this kit. I did love it. Um, and it was a lot of fun to do, especially at the end. Um, I really got into a rhythm at the end with it and I was like just flying along with this canvas. Not just because I wanted to get it done, but because I actually really enjoyed doing it. Um, but I have seen this time and time again with this canvas and if you are familiar with this specific canvas, um, you have probably seen this floating around um, as well that I think that this size is too small. Um, I'm not saying that it looks bad in this size because it doesn't. Um, however, the amount of confetti in this kit is absolutely unreal. <laughs> if you like confetti, you are going to love this kit. Um, I actually really enjoyed it. I didn't find it tedious or boring. Um, I actually like how the confetti um, shaded the wolf over here and shaded her, her face and her hair. I really like how it did that. Um, however, I do feel like because it is so confetti heavy that it also looks a little pixelated. Um, I would love to see this in the 60 by 80 that a lot of the other Curtis Reykjavich paintings are. 
um and yeah I just I feel like a lot of the detail was lost in this painting it's got 47 colors in this 40 by 50 painting that's a lot of colors for a kit this small and the reason is they're trying to cram all of these details into this itty bitty size snack size painting which in turn causes it to have a lot of confetti and for it to have a pixelated look does it look bad no it does not look bad in this size however um i feel like if they came out with a larger um kit in this size it would look oh my god it would look so amazing and i would purchase it in a heartbeat um, not only because I would love a bigger version of this kit, but because I would want to compare and contrast the two of these kits. So if that happens, um, you all can definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, what else to say about this kit? So there is a little bit of gapping, um, in here. Uh, I think the square drills are tinier than the square drills I'm used to working with. Um... So because of that, it left a little bit of gapping in some spots. It's nothing crazy. You can't even see it on on the canvas. Um, another thing is that Dreamer Designs' drills are so sparkly. I've done one Dreamer Designs canvas before, um, and I had a little bit of issues with it. Uh, but I, I really had a better experience with this painting overall. Um, I actually got rid of all my drills already because I, I already kit down this painting because I want to be ready to kit up um, the old shoe house tomorrow. And yeah, so I don't have those drills to show you, but I did have plenty of leftover drills. Um, the stickers that came with this kit, the label uh, stickers, um, are not fantastic. Uh, they don't like to stick to the containers. Um, they weren't terrible, I but there were quite a few that just would not stick to my to my containers so probably in the future i'll end up taping them on and it'll be a pain in the ass to kit down but it just would you know save me the headache of trying to keep putting the sticker back on <laughs> on the container of my drills because it's like a lost cause it doesn't stay on um there's really not much else to say about this painting i had very little trash like pretty much no trash in this painting I have I don't really even have something to show you because I threw out all the drills already or I've stored them away um but I just I had no trash the drills were immaculate so that was really really great um there was a decent amount of 310 and the 310 drills were pretty great um, they did have some bits and pieces on it, but I don't I don't mind the bits and pieces on the end of the drill so much as long as it fits nicely on the canvas, I will still use it. If it really like hinders um, the appearance of the canvas and I see popping drills, I don't use it. But for the most part, I use like the little um, the the imperfect uh, three ten drills uh, if they're not too bad. Um, so yeah, plenty of leftover drills, plenty of um sparkle in this canvas i don't know if there's anything else to say she looks fantastic um i love the dark spooky um stuff i don't like gore though but something about curtis <clears throat> something about curtis reykjavik's um artwork speaks to me in a way that no other artist's artwork has spoke to me before um, this is the first of three of his diamond painting kits that I own from Dreamer Designs and I love this kit um, and I love just I just love his damsels as he calls them and they're they really are damsels they're they're gorgeous <laughs> so um, I'm very excited to work on the other two those are both 60 by 80 so I'm curious to see the differences with the rendering. Once I store this away, I will probably get a um, I'll probably get a frame for it in the future. I would love to hang this up around Halloween time, or maybe just hang it up in general in my room. She's so pretty. Red hair is like yes, I love red hair. I just love red. I love working with the color red. Um, but I'm ready to kit up something new. I do have Spirit of Flight that has a row and a half left. <laughs> But I just, I need a break from it. I need to step away from it for a little bit 
it just I got totally burnt out from that canvas and um, I need something new so tomorrow I'm going to be kidding up the old shoe house and there will be a kid up video um, just where I'm talking about kidding up, how I kid up a large canvas and how I work on a larger canvas um, that video won't be tomorrow that'll be uh, obviously because you're seeing this <laughs> Um, that video will be coming sometime this week because I will be filming it tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. And other than that, um, I think that's it for this painting. This was a really short and sweet um, post review. I really don't have anything negative to say um, other than that. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention. Um, when I first started this canvas, I tried to use a light pad and it was impossible. The symbols looked so blurry with the light pad, um, but, and I worked on it like that for, like, the first row and a half, and I was like, yeah, I can't do this anymore, I can't see the symbols. It, it the symbols look terrible when a light pad is underneath it, you cannot see anything. So if you are going to work on a Dream Designs painting, um, I would recommend using an overhead light or a different light source other than the light pad and that worked so much better for me um, and it was smooth sailing from there. But I just wanted to mention that real quick because that was one other issue that I had. Whew! Okay. <laughs> and I think that is it. That is definitely it. Um, it is very late. I am very tired but I wanted to just get this done so I could have it for you to view and to get an idea of um, what this painting is, I didn't have a lot of critiques, uh, on this one, other than the few small stuff. Um, but if you enjoyed, I would highly suggest hitting that subscribe button. Um, I post videos like this all the time. I don't have a schedule, so it's kind of just whenever <laughs> they appear. Um, and I would also recommend hitting that notification bell so you're notified about whenever I post a new video. Um, I've seen a huge influx of people, of new subscribers to this channel recently, and I just want to say thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you watching my content, and I hope you stay because, um, I've got a lot of stuff planned for the future. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, or afternoon, or whenever you're viewing this. And I hope you continue to spread positivity and creativity in your everyday lives. And I will see you all in my next video.